y'all. Um, I just want to do a, a little update since I didn't mention it at one time. I even did a little portion of a video on it. About that twin twin flame shit. <laughs> I guess you can tell from already my demeanor that I'm going to be... You know, I kind of want to start this over because I, I don't even like how I started this. But I'm not going to start over because first take is the best take. And that's, I'm going to ride with that. But um, I just want to update y'all about that twin flame stuff. Last night... We crashed and motherfucking burnt. Bad. It was bad, bruh. But, you know, I don't feel... Like, I don't feel hurt. I don't feel sad. Like, part of me actually started laughing once I got off the phone last night. Like, it's like... Hmm. I guess it, it was going to happen eventually anyway. Because I was feeling doubts from the get-go. So, I should have knew that that wasn't going to, you know, develop in anything. Because you can't be feeling doubts like that. I thought it was just me being scary and not wanting to take that big step and blah, 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 blah. But it just wasn't right. So, I guess I can fully speak on it now that it's over. I didn't want to um speak on it a lot while it was going down. Cause, just because. But, I don't know. It just wasn't there. You know what I mean? Like. I appreciated it for what it was. Like, for a few days to a week. Like, I was really into it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was like, wow, this could be the guy. But after that, like, it started feeling like something was like, no, that's not right. What did it for me, though? Because I take, ser I take it seriously who you let into your energy field. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why, like, I'm by myself. Like, I ain't taking no chances with these niggas. Like, a lot of them be on some other shit. Like, with this dude, though, what I liked was that we could talk about, like, anything. Like, he was open-minded. So we could talk about aliens. We could talk about, um, Merkaba. We, you know, we could talk about things like that. So that's what initially attracted me to him. Because a lot of dudes aren't open-minded. They just want to talk about LeBron and talk about Lil Wayne and some other dumb shit. Whatever else is stupid that's going down. They want to play PS4 all day. You know, which I don't have an issue with. Play your video games, but be about something. But anyway, with this dude, um, we talked. We could like talk for four hours at a time on the phone and it was cool. But I think I let that get to my head and try to form it into a relationship because I do that like not like not like um I try to rush relationships no I take um friendship and kind of and I can easily confuse it with a love feeling so like yeah it's not a bad thing it's not like I um try to make something out to what it isn't it's just sometimes I'm losing my train of thought. But anyway, it just, it wasn't with it. It wasn't working with him. And it's like, I'm not sad about it. I'm really not. Because, like, I was able to kind of, like, realize, like, what I want and what I don't want. You know what I mean? And I had to, like, really think about, like, because I was really thinking about what I want for future. What I want for myself for the future and everything. And he couldn't. He couldn't do it. He had he had a lot of extra shit going on. I just put it out there like that. Like he was a real cool dude, real cool dude. But he had a lot of emotional issues going on, a lot of baggage that I don't feel like I should have to take on. I don't. Um He was um a Hispanic guy. Which I don't want to get on to color and ethnicity and race and all of that stuff, but part of me does feel like I have to be with another non ether being, another melanated rich individual, another black person, put it put it bottom line. So that kinda that was a small, very small thing that kinda got to me. But also though, it's like he felt like he knew a lot of stuff. Like he studied um a lot about the Anunnaki and 
this um other researcher guy, Zachariah Sitchin or Sitchin, some German or Russian or Philistine, some guy, some really he died a few years ago. He was big on um he made this book called The Twelfth Planet where he talked about like Nibiru and Anunnaki and, you know, how they came here mining for gold and all of that other stuff. So he was like big on that. And he was also big on um speaking on the guy that I was talking to, not this Zechariah Station guy. Um, he was big on like aliens and big on government conspiracy. Me myself, I don't focus on that bullshit because I know some bullshit. But I felt like he thought he knew more, not more than me, but just I felt like he thought he knew what was up. And it was, it's funny, like, it's weird when you know something or when you know about something, but you don't really speak on it too much. That's how I felt about stuff like that with him. He want to talk about all this government shit and all these, you know, whatever. And I'm not denying that the government is doing some shady shit. You can watch the news and figure that out for yourself. But that's not a realm that I dwell in. I don't dwell in conspiracy. I don't. And as far as alien life, of course, there has to be something else out there. That's that's basic. But I didn't really agree with his um studies about the Anunnaki. I felt like he could have did more. Well, he still can do more. It's not over. But um, I felt like he had a little piece of something, and he was just running with it. And in my brain, all the back of my head and my brain, it's just like, you you know you can't ride with this. And it's just like, I know. So that, that kind of got to me. It's just like, everybody's on their own path, you know what I'm saying? And where we did meet up on certain issues, on the big things we didn't. Like, what kind of got to me mostly was that, he didn't really acknowledge the concept of a divine mother or divine father or heavenly supreme creator. And that's that's a big one with me because it's like if you can't grasp that concept, you miss it on everything. And you know the stuff that you know I look into that we look into and whatnot. We can't force it on somebody else. You can't. You just have to let them come into it on their own. So, like, based off the information that I knew he knew, I would try to, like, ask him stuff, you know, you know, about the uh, MERS, not the Moors, but the MERS, M-U-U-R-S. And, um, even the regular Moors, I asked him about that, just to gauge where he was at. And I noticed, um... When it comes to like occult knowledge, people don't really, um, hmm, I don't know the words I'm looking for for that one, but he wasn't up on that, and I noticed he wasn't up on a lot of things regarding nationality. I guess if you're not black, you don't look into black information, I guess that's what I'm kind of trying to say, but... He didn't really, I don't want to say I was more advanced than him, but I felt like I got a broader understanding of certain concepts than he did. And I couldn't really wait for him. But that wasn't even the worst of it. Because, you know, you can learn with somebody, you can grow and build with somebody, that's not an issue. But what did it for me was um his family, basically... I mean, I didn't know Spanish voodoo was that serious. And, um, he feels that he has a curse on him from birth that was done by his, um, father's mother. And, basically, de three demons, two women and a man, follow him around. And he's not able to sleep right. He's not able to have success in relationships or health. And he always felt like that would follow him around. And at first, you know, I wasn't, I didn't really pay it too much mind, you know, but he was adamant about this, he would always talk about it, and, um, so all these things was just in my head, and it's just like, you got all these doubts, he don't really, his focus not really on point, and then he got, he's talking about he got these demons and shit following him, 
I don't need that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, when you talk about like having sex with somebody and being with somebody, you letting them into your field. You know what I'm saying? You inviting everything that's going on with them, you inviting it to go on with you. Especially if you start having sex with somebody. It's just like, y'all merging. And it's just like, we were kind of getting to that point, almost, I guess. But my higher self, the ultimate creator, my my heart, my soul, was just they had to put a stop to that shit. Because I couldn't let that go on. Because basically last night, it just like came to a head. It's just like, you can't give me what I want. Like, I want a future with somebody. I'm trying to grow and build and have a family. I can't do that with you. You talking about you got demons following you. And he already has a son, and he fears that his son might be going through that same stuff that he went through as a child, you know. And I don't want that for my for my children, my seed, my, you know, I don't want that. Mm -mm. I, got, I got bigger plans, you know, ahead. So, that's how I felt about that. So, it's not even like I felt like some love was lost. It's just... It just it just wasn't right, you know what I mean. And it just it blew up last night because I basically confronted him about it. It's just like I don't feel like we can have a future together. Do you feel like we can have a future together? And he got kind of butt hurt about it. And some name calling was done. Not like bitch and nigga and all of that stuff. I called him selfish and he called me crazy. I don't know, but I called him selfish because. He always says that um he knew he knows what his life is about. He knows he can't be happy. He knows he can't be successful and blah 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 blah. So I asked him, why reach out to people? Why did you reach out for somebody if you knew already knew you wasn't you know, things wasn't popping off for you? And it's just like he couldn't answer me. And so I called him selfish about it, because if you already knew something like that, if you already knew you got this these big ass issues and baggage going on with you why you want to let somebody in and then drop all that information on them it's just like I didn't feel it was right for him to like basically leave that in my hands like but he, he made it seem like I wasn't willing to take a risk like um the risk wasn't enough for the reward the reward wasn't big enough for the risk and that I didn't want to carry his baggage and da 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 and, yeah, nigga, you right. I don't want that baggage. I don't want no demon-ass baggage on me. Like, bro, come on, man. I'm a divine being. I ain't got time for that bullshit. But, um, I don't know. I called him selfish, and I don't feel bad about it because I, I stick by what I said. If you know you got certain shit going on in your life, why are you going to pull somebody else in and get them caught up and then have them have to make that choice 